Yeah, obviously a very disappointing uh, result. Um, humbling in a lot of ways. You know, uh, I think what's the most disappointing is how well we played first half and then how poor we played second half. And uh, I, I don't know what changed. We certainly didn't change anything tactically. Um, obviously, Toronto deserves a lot of credit. They raised their level in the second half. And they're a very good team and they have very good players. And unfortunately, when they raised their level, um, we didn't cope. And we didn't play through their pressure. Um, you know, when we, we kept giving the ball away and then we were in a cycle of just being back foot, low block, and that was definitely not the plan. Um, and I think that first goal, now we didn't work ourselves out of it after the first goal and uh, it was the second, it was the third, and it was a very disappointing half. Um, obviously we have to keep it in perspective. We're all very disappointed and none of us are, um, happy about it. Obviously, we're extremely uh, frustrated about it, but we have to learn from it and uh, we have to correct it. We have to make sure it doesn't happen again because that wasn't us in the second half. And I think the thing that, that I don't understand is how we can play so well one half and execute and have a good mentality and keep the ball and do all the things that we've been doing. Uh, and then all of a sudden, we didn't do any of those things in the second half. So I'm, I'm Confident that we'll respond and we will learn from it, but uh, I think we're all humbled, humbled right now today after uh, the way the game went. Thanks, Caleb. We'll start with questions with Jacob Myers, then Pat Murphy and Sean Dunnigan. If you'd like a question after Sean, please raise your hand now. Go ahead, Jacob. Caleb, you kind of just touched on it. You don't really know what happened, but the only other time you guys gave up goals and a half in quick succession was you it up just mentally not being ready. Would you agree that was kind of the case here as best as you can diagnose it right now? Yeah, I mean, obviously it's important again to keep it in perspective. And I, you know, I think I have to take some time to uh, watch the game again, watch the second half again, see what they did. I know they raised their level and they definitely trust higher. And we just didn't seem um, ready for it, you know, and then we never adjusted, you know, we got caught on the ball and, and then we got too deep, you know, and then just didn't look like us And the first half was the complete opposite, you know, so it's one of those where when a really good team with really good players raises their level, if you don't manage it, you know, that's what happens. And that's exactly what happened. So, um, you know, in these situations, I've, I've always found that, you know, it, it can be used as a good thing, um, even though right now we're extremely disappointed to give up three goals and, you know, after being up a goal on the road against a very good team, you know, and it's, it's hard not to think what if, you know, if we would have won the game, but, but didn't happen. And uh, we have to rest, recover, and we've got three days to prepare for Dallas, and we have to use it, you know, more of a stepping stone, not a stumbling block. You know, and it can't rattle us. It can't get us now overthinking things. We can't overreact. Um, but we def definitely need to improve uh, through this because if we want to do what we want to do, we're going to have to beat teams like Toronto. And good teams, you're going to see a response. They're going to raise their level. And uh, you have to be able to cope with that. And we didn't. Thanks, Jacob. We'll go to Pat Murphy and then Sean Dunn again. Caleb, I'm curious what the locker room was like at halftime. Um, you, you mentioned not raising the performance enough. Was was there? W did you sense anything? You know, in terms of we, you know, maybe a little overconfidence or anything at halftime that, that may have led to that. No, no, I didn't sense any of that. Um, I think the group was locked in. Obviously, we had a great first half. Uh, we did everything we wanted to do. We, we should have scored a couple more goals as well. Um, G missed a breakaway. Um, you know, another couple good chances. So I think like a normal halftime when we're up 1-0, you know, the group's locked in. This, this team has a good mentality. Uh, the, we have good leaders on the team as well. Um, I did not see this coming. You know, I think 
uh, you know, I'll have to rewatch it. I'll have to see how, um, you know, how we went into the tailspin because that's pretty much what happened. We seemed like we just went into a complete tailspin and the team hasn't shown that this year. You know, we've been very strong mentally. Um, we've had some periods of play where we've had to manage adversity and we've responded always in a positive way in this game. We just never worked our way out of it. Um, of course, there are factors, you know, obviously it's the third game in nine days. We have some guys in the center of the park that are, that are young. Um, you know, those are factors mentally, you know, I think perhaps thinking, yeah, we've got this and they raise their level and it's the best team we play by a, by a mile. Um, you know, so just not being ready for that next level that they went to. Um, there's factors. Um, first five minutes, we'll get caught on the ball, you know, three, four times. And that never helps. And then obviously the first goal, five minutes in. Um, you know, and, and then from there, we just didn't work ourselves out of it. So we'll, of course, always, like we always do, analyze it and we'll make some corrections and, and hopefully we'll be better for it. I'm confident that we will. Um, you know, it's not like uh, we've shown this in other games. So for me, I look at it as this is an outlier and I'm hoping that's the case. I believe that that's the case. And, and I'm going to attribute it to some of those factors that I mentioned. Um, but I never want to make excuses either. So that I certainly didn't um, make those as excuses in the locker room to our group. And our group doesn't want to make excuses either because Toronto also played a midweek game. And so there's two teams that are in the same situation. So they have some guys out as well. I mean, Michael Bradley's out in the center of the park. So um, there's no excuse for it. Thanks, Caleb. We'll go to Sean Dunnigan. And before we do, just a reminder, we do have Aloy Room and Jonathan Mensa as our additional panelists. We have time for a couple more questions after that. So go ahead, Sean, with your question. Caleb, you mentioned that it just didn't seem like they were the team was themselves in the, in the second half. Is that frustrating for you to, that that you couldn't, you know, that, that they weren't themselves, that, that something was happening that you didn't know or couldn't see? Um. Yeah, because I believe in the group, you know, um, I believe in my players, you know, I, I, we have a very good team, you know, that didn't change on one bad half. Um, sometimes in football, you have a bad half. Sometimes you're playing a really good team that, like I said, raises their level and we just don't cope with it. Um, sometimes you do, you get tired mentally and physically. Um, you know, obviously in the center of the park, we got some young guys in there. Um, so there's, there's going to be some mistakes. There's, we're not going to be quite as strong in there um, with and without the ball. Um, those are factors, you know. So, yeah, of course, I always want to have answers. I always want to solve everything. I want to have, you know, the right things to always say. And, and, you know, I think this is one where we just had a bad half. We had a bad half. Thanks. We'll go to Brett Hilbrand of Fox Sports Ohio, then back to Jacob. A reminder for Aloy Room and Jonathan Mensa, you'll need to press raise hand now. Go ahead, Brett. My question is for Aloy. Um, were you uh, on their second goal? Were you unsighted? Could you, were you blocked off a little bit? Uh, yeah, the second goal, uh, I moved with the ball and uh, uh, they shot the ball and I didn't see the ball coming. So it was like, yeah, as a goalkeeper, you have to react on the ball. And if you don't have a clear vision on the ball, then it's hard to react. So it was a difficult ball. And, uh, but yeah, I think as a, as, a, as a team, we didn't, yeah, we were more on our back foot. So we have to learn from it. I have to see the clips back, uh, what, we have to, what, uh, what we have to do better. But uh, yeah, it was a difficult ball. As a player, in a situation like this, uh, do you kind of take a step back and and try and you know mentally refresh by maybe you know getting a day off or so and then come back in, uh, or do you really want to get right back to it, get right back in, uh, you know, and, and training right away? Yeah, of course. If I can play a game now, I want to play another game. But like we have to reflect on this game and also mentally we. 
have to prepare and also uh, look in the mirror. You know, everyone has to look in the mirror what they have done in this game, and we have to. Look. And sometimes this is is good for the team, and uh, yeah, like it's, it's a lesson. You know, this is a top team we play against. So, if we want to raise the level, we have to compete with this team. So, I think first half we showed it, and the second half we didn't show it. So. It's a learning process, you know. It's the first game, the, yeah, first half uh, that we didn't play well, so we have to learn from it and move on. And we don't have to make it a, a big deal because, yeah, we played a really good game this season. Even the first half, we played really good. So I think we have to learn from it and, uh, yeah, mentally be ready for the next one and bounce back and show everyone uh, that we can uh, uh, compete with the top. Thanks, Brett. We have two more questions. We'll go Jacob and then Pat. Go ahead, Jacob. This question is for Jonathan. Jonathan, obviously you guys expect a push from any team and especially given the reigning conference champs. Is that a lesson for the club tonight, just seeing how a team of that caliber can kind of change a game so quickly and how you guys have to play to adjust to that? Um, I think coming into this game, we knew it was going to be tough because uh, Toronto has proven, you know, they, they're one of the best in the league. They've won a couple of silver words and, and all that. So um, coming into this game, we were up for it. We were ready for it. But um, um, honestly speaking, we stopped playing uh, second half. You know, we didn't stick to the game plan. You know, we weren't aggressive enough. And uh, they just uh, played through. Uh, the middle of the park, and uh, you know we, we, you know we just let them have it uh, easily. Than, than you know uh, they, they give us the chance. So uh, we will learn from this, and uh, you know come back stronger in the next game. Thanks, Jacob. We'll wrap up tonight's availability with Pat Murphy. Go ahead. Also for Jonathan on the first and second goals when they're getting those chances right at the top of the box. You guys haven't allowed many opportunities from that spot. What wasn't being done correctly from, from your vantage point on those two goals in particular? Uh, I haven't watched the film yet. Obviously, you know, um, I played in the game. But I think we, we you know, we were too uh, passive in the middle. We, you know, we, we let them have shots uh, because, um, you know, they go wide. But we know they want to come to the middle. So as they go wide, we need to close. We need to be compact in the middle. But then we, we open the middle of the pack for them. And, uh, you know, we need to watch films. We need to be better and, and show that we can, we can do better than we did in the second half. So, um, you know, this is, this is a, a collective uh, loss. So obviously it's, it's tough. But then individually, we need to raise it also. Um, you know, being the captain, I think I, I, I need to do better because uh, the whole season we've given up just five goals. So we cannot give up uh, three goals in just uh, one half. Um, you know, we will, we will go back to the training grounds and, and uh, do better. Thanks, Jonathan.